welcome back. <laughs> Tonight's show is all about newbies in BDSM, and we have our guest, Count oh. Boogie, and um, Madam Christy. Chrissy. Uh, Chrissy. And... Um, and meow. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back to Solaris, and she's going to be asking that question again before we took a break. There, that works. Better. So uh, this is more for because uh, I don't really see Boogie ever <laughs> changing. Yeah, no, um, no. <laughs> hey, there, are s there are some people that are just uh, stuck within those particular roles, um, and you can kind of see that. Uh, but for somebody like Meow and Madam Chrissy, it seems like you guys are very dominant people um in your regular lives faux and doms. <laughs> yeah faux doms <laughs> like like 60 like says six. um <laughs> but i'm curious if you guys have ever thought or think that you guys are switches or submissives due to your circumstances now do you think you'd ever try being uh, like for madam chris and being just a top or just a submissive or maybe you meow being a switch or being a, a dom I mean, me first, I guess. Um, you know, at this point, I'm not really. Uh, I don't think it's wise for me to make to make a firm decision. I think I need to have more experiences first, and mm -hmm. I think it depends on the person. Uh, yeah, it would be nice just to have one person to really spend consistent time with and to really be pushed in, in boundary and whatever position it might it might work out with that particular person. But uh, it really, I don't know. I'm too much. I think at this point, I feel like I'm too much of a kinky bitch to give it up. I mean, I really want to know, and I have my kinks, and I want to play, and I want to just go for it, you know. And so then I can dom you right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> go ahead. I'll give you about an hour to stop that. At least yeah. an hour. Okay, so, yeah, that's my answer. So, not today. <laughs> I'm just doing it all. <laughs> um, okay, well, there's a couple different things. Um, I kind of almost see it as almost sexuality, where, you know, it's like, you know, being bisexual, you experience both ends. Mm -hmm. And, you know, being a submissive, it's just this end. Or a dominant, it's just this end. It's kind of either what you're drawn to or just what you want to try. Um, it was really, really funny because the whole time I've been in this, I'm like, oh, I'm submissive. Oh, I'm submissive. You know, because I always thought, you know, you know that's what I was into. And then one night when I first met Jewy, um, an Orthodox Jew, I call him Jewy, um, he's like, have you ever thought about being a, a top, a dominant? And I sat there and I was like, doo, doo, doo. I never questioned myself ever. I never thought about it. And so I started thinking about it and I was like, hmm. And like my little wheels started turning inside my brain and there's Dewey now. <laughs> um, and my little wheels, you know, started turning and I started thinking, I'm like, well, is this what I want? You know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And... I do think it has to do with my upbringing of of my um, of my life of being submissive in situations and whatnot. Um, but I do and see that's the thing is that I do like giving up control, but I do like being in control. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's more just my regular life that I am more dominant um, sexually and whatever that gets me off, I'm submissive and more, more so I've found out that I'm more masochist than even more just a submissive so or a bottom. You're discovering that you're really more of a masochist. Than yeah. A um, there was a question. If a sub has a master, can they switch from a master to a dom? What? <laughs> if a sub has a master, can they switch from a uh, can they switch? Can the master switch from a master to, to a, a dominant? Dom? I yeah, was they told can there would be no math. <laughs> <laughs> do whatever they want. I'm like going carry the one, you know. Yeah, they can do whatever they want. Well, I think the dominant has the right to switch wherever they want to, or is it the submissive that wants to switch? We need a clarification on that question. We don't know. <laughs> the answer is, is yes. yes. <laughs> I think that person. Whatever you fucking want. Right. Yes, that was a call in, correct? And so if if you guys if you call us right back in, and please let's clarify that. You know, give us a ring in. What, put, you mean a, a master? A master can go and say, you know what? I don't want to be the full time master, I but I am dominant. still dominant. Of course, that's that is possible. Hello, Rev Mel Show. How are you? I'm fine. I want to speak to the uh, the host, uh, the speaker. Yes, may I help you? Yeah, I'm the one that called and asked the question if a slave, not a master, oh. a slave, oh. can change from a master to a dom. 
Oh, okay. Oh, oh, you mean if you're a slave, can you can you make a switch and turn into a master or a dom? Correct? No. No. Can they go from <laughs> okay being I'm under slave. a master? Oh, under, I got it. To go under a dom. I'm having a blonde and gray moment here. <laughs> um, I'm a slave. Uh huh. I, I was. The question was. If I wanted to switch from my master to a dom, can I? I think that mostly depends on you. What does what does our panel think of our newbies? Well, I mean, the, we have to remember that slavery in America is actually illegal. Yes. Um, <laughs> so um, we are talking about a role, a consensual role mm -hmm. of being a slave, and in that case, you have the choice. This is not this is not real slavery. This is consensual slavery. You may surrender yourself to your master, but if you are there and you are a slave and you are not wanting to be there, then it becomes abuse. And, and who's on the, who, who is on the phone? Uh, I'm Sub Hunter. Hi, Sub Hunter. Welcome Hi. to TSR. Uh, you know my master. Yes. Master Lindsay? Yes. Oh. Okay. Right. So he's my master. Right. I was just... It, I wasn't the one that wanted to change. It's a friend of mine that wants to switch from a master to a dom. Right. Well, I, I think that it is a personal choice, and I think that uh, if they, you know, I think a lot of this starts out as chemistry. I hate to say this. You can't, you can't not have the chemistry factor in all of this. Mm -hmm. And I think that if she would meet somebody that was a dominant and, and he does not consider himself a master, it is really sometimes just a label. And I think that if there's chemistry, that uh, it will work out well for them. I don't really oh, okay, that. I'll let her know. Thank you so much, and thank you for calling. You're welcome. Thank mm -hmm. you. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. You too. Bye. What we're going to do is we're going to bring on to the set. UJ's Woo! here. Yay. Oh. <laughs> 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 I love this. <laughs> do you want to switch out? or No, you can sit oh, on the other okay. side. This is our ninja new, <laughs> yeah, our ninja guy, our ninja Jew. A Jewish ninja. This is all they have for ski masks. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! And we're gonna ask him why are you wearing a mask, and be very honest the reason why. I don't want to be <laughs> viewed on a website like this in full. I have a, um, I have a, I know I've got a lot going in my potential future, such as that someone seeing this video five or ten years down the <laughs> line and knowing that I was on the show might not be the best thing so <laughs> President i'm just uj <laughs> <laughs> well welcome secret well, master. <laughs> so uj how long have you been in the lifestyle since october since october and um what was your first experience my first experience was going to threshold with a friend of mine who actually kind of got me into the lifestyle a bit and she offered to let me top her and she's a bratty sub <laughs> i was not expecting it i felt like she was the one in control of the scene way more than i was the entire time <laughs> and i was the one who had her tied up so was she in the lifestyle for a long time um yes and no so I'm she not was really topping from below <laughs> somewhat <laughs> and do you guys find that in being a new person that when you first started out, that it was easy for someone to top from below. You mean someone? Well, what? Top. As as <laughs> as the person on top. No, I really didn't have that problem. No. But you mean subs talking back and saying blah yeah. blah blah? Yeah, that's that's. I actually got. I've never guy. really done that because <laughs> what I want to do is give control. So I wouldn't be like, hey, can you do that? You but know. But as as a dominant, you've never experienced that. I mean, you have you you have people that are Sammy, but it, it really depends on on who you play with. There's Sammy, smartass masochist, that um, you kind of agree that hey, I make some comments and I'm Sammy and that's okay. <laughs> but then in negotiation, um, I'll talk to someone and go, you know, what type of feedback do you feel that you're gonna want to give during this scene? If it's someone that's new, if it's someone I'm established with and we've already gone past that. Now, but, as as new people in the scene. Um, what do you guys look for in a play partner? This is Dagger asking this. A nice ass. <laughs> <laughs> I second that. Um, well, I don't know. I'll start since I'm over here. Um, I don't know. There has to be an, an, an attraction, obviously, the physical mm -hmm. attraction. And, um, you know, sometimes even just watching them play. 
you know, and see who they talk to and who is on their friends list. And there's this whole like safety feeling, you know, this progression, again, not rushing and just taking the time to talk to somebody and, and really um, suss things out before you even start. Um, but yeah, there has to be some sensibilities and some, you know, uh, intelligence, you know, going on up there, you know. Well, let's, yeah. let's throw out some things. Okay, you're new, okay? You're on this quest to find someone to play with. Give us some personality traits or some traits that you look for. Each one of you guys give me one. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put out integrity. I want to play with someone that has integrity. Um, someone who I can, I guess it kind of falls along the same lines as integrity that I have, that I can trust and have respect for. But is respect a given or is it earned? It is earned. It is earned. And they also have to have respect for me. Otherwise, um, I don't really know where it's going to go. Yeah. Mia? Um, I can define it with just one word or give one word. Um, I would say dominance because there are only certain people I'm drawn to. I mean, some doms are, you know, they're dominance or they're masters. And I look at them and I go, dude, I could totally dop you. Like, just me, per <laughs> just me personally, uh, that like it, it really <laughs> depends on the person. Just because they're a dominant doesn't mean they can dominate me. And But that's true. Not just because someone is a dominant doesn't mean they're going to dominate you because, first of all, they're not in a relationship with you. And they don't have any right to dominate you. Okay, but I'm just saying in, in generic, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> they, I have to feel that from them. It's not just I can go to any dominant and be like, oh, you're my dom. You know, it's <laughs> come, take a place. Right, what's, what's the one trait that will wow you when you see a dominant? I mean, is, is it Can dominant? I just give an example? Because I can't think yeah. of just Colin, sir. Okay. I look at that and I say, wow, it's energy, I guess you could say. It's very hot. <laughs> really, really hot. And it's all about, you know, how you feel. Because if you have no... Because I don't think there necessarily has to be chemistry. There can be a connection mm -hmm. with the two people. So, yeah, definitely have some type of connection, whether it be... You know, you wear the same shoe size. Hey, cool. Or, you know, you guys are in, <laughs> into the same sexual things. Yeah. You know, it can be any connection. It doesn't necessarily, me personally, have to be chemistry. Boogie. In a dominant, what do I, what do I look for? <laughs> so no, no, in, it, it, once again, you, you can't give one answer because there's, yeah. there's people that you play with. There's friends mm -hmm. that you have that are submissive and they want to try something. So then you're just topping. Yeah. And then, of course, there's that connection where you actually want to experience a journey with someone. So um, depending on what you want, if chemistry is really everything. And knowing what you want to play and how you want to play. So when I play with someone that knows what they want, then that obviously makes it easier for mm -hmm. everyone in the scenario to have a fun time. But there are personality traits. There are things that, that, that have qualities. When, you, when you're attracted to somebody, you're attracted to them for certain reasons. Well, because it can be a vanilla. I mean, there's two different types of attractions you could. Or it could be the same as in a vanilla chemistry or a dominant submissive chemistry. That's it a could great be different. topic to, to talk about in the future. Is there a difference between the chemistry between vanilla and BDSM? Or, or a sure. DS relationship. Is yes. it really any Tylenol? different? Yes. That's what I said. Tylenol is going to be a headache. Yes. Of course there's a difference. That's why we're here and they're there. And that's why we used to be there and now we're here. Because the chemistry.